गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टूडेज टॉपिक इज सबस्टेट लेवल फॉस्फोरेशन जनरली ए टी पीज आर सिंथेसाइज इन इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन वेन द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर ट्रांसफर द एनर्जी फ्रॉम दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन इज ट्रैप्ड एंड दैट एनर्जी इज यूज फॉर सिंथेसिस ऑफ ए टी पी बट इन केस ऑफ सबस्टेट लेवल फॉस्फोरेशन द एनर्जी फ्रॉम द सबस्टेट is directly trapped and used for synthesis of atp so the definition of substrate level phosphorylation is phosphorylation of adp or gdp to form atp or gtp with the help of energy obtained directly from the substrate is called as substrate level phosphorylation it is seen in glycolysis and tca cycle so these are the examples of substrate level phosphorylation first example is conversion of 13 bis phosphoglycerate to 3 phosphoglycerate with the help of enzyme 13 bis phosphoglycerate kinase this is the reaction of glycolysis now in this case the inorganic phosphate from 13 bis phosphoglycerate is removed at that time energy is also release and that inorganic phosphate is added to the adp with the help of energy that is released during that reaction to synthesize atp second example is also from the glycolytic pathway here phosphoenol pyruvate is converted into pyruvic acid with the help of enzyme pyruvate kinase here also the inner phosphate group from phosphoenol pyruvate is removed when that phosphate bond is removed large amount of energy is released at this step so that energy is utilized to phosphorylate the adp to form atp so these two are examples of glycolysis and in the third example succinyl coa is converted into succinic acid here when succinyl coa is converted to succinic acid with the help of enzyme thiokinase large amount of energy is released that energy is used for phosphorylation of gdp with the help of inorganic phosphate obtained from surrounding and gdp is converted into gtp so this is an example of tca cycle so this is about the substrate level phosphorylation and its example thank you